okay. We're starting. Let's tap. It's on. Life. And bussies. What? Oh my god. Mom. Ugh, I'm too tired for this bullshit. I am filming on my bed today. Oh shit. She sleep? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I've actually been sleeping on my couch for the past few days. I think I'm depressed. Split. There is also a empty bottle of vodka on my nightstand. I swear to God, I am not that depressed, guys. That was for something else. It was empty for a long time. Not on my bed, not on my, I'm just, the hole is being dug right now. Taking you, removing you somewhere else. Maybe I am depressed. Maybe I should get some help for this. How do we start this? How do I get to where I'm trying to go with this? Okay, well, long story short, I'm tired. <laughs> the gays are getting attacked again. My edges are hella chaotic. My eczema's practically gone. My skin's doing great. But I also ran out of vodka, so that's like, doesn't even matter. Matt, how are the gays getting attacked? I'll tell you. So I was just sitting down, relaxing. Not on this bed, by the way. This bed didn't exist until two days ago. Y'all thought I was joking when I said I was sleeping on that couch. Y'all thought I was joking when I said I was depressed. Why y'all think I'm so funny? It's because I hate myself. <laughs> so I was just sitting down, relaxing, enjoying my life. Thinking of all the possible things I can do to Nick Jonas. Just a normal Tuesday. But then out of nowhere, I started noticing that I was getting a series of tweets from people. Oh my gosh, Mac, have you seen this? Oh my gosh, Mac, have you seen this? And the first thing that came to my mind was, who's nudes leak? What happened? Where do I buy? Prints of them? For my bedroom? Today. I think I am depressed. But as I clicked on the tweets, I discovered it wasn't a delectable deliciousness of someone's wang or butt, but in fact the end result of someone's wang and butt. As in a f load of bullshit and piss. So you would think as a person that's reacting to anti-gay ads on a constant basis that stupid ass shit won't happen. But stupid ass shit happened. And here we are talking about it. If I told you that the anti-gay ad was playing before my videos, would you believe me? Cause bitch, guess what? Guess what's happening? Guess who needs to be fired? Guess who's a traitor? Who's a snitch? Who needs to catch these hands? Not only has an anti-gay ad been playing before my videos, bitch, but two of them have been playing before my videos on a constant basis. basis. Me. A man that talks about sucking dick. If y'all wanna play these anti-gay ads with my videos, go ahead, be my guest, give me them pennies. But don't think you're changing anybody's perspective that watches my videos, bitch. I think they're stuck, bitch. I think they're permanent. But since this is the shit I am known for, I decided it is fate, and I need to milk the hell out of this situation for everything it's worth. So I haven't actually watched these anti-gay ads yet. All I've seen are pictures of them, and I haven't really spent the time to look them up and actually watch them because I'm tired. We've already discussed this. I'm on my bed, bitches. Split. But today, that's gonna change. So now it's time to watch two privileged assholes tell me why it's not okay for me to suck some dick. You know? People in other countries are dying. There's still world hunger. Economies are declining. But that doesn't matter. It's the gays. The gays are the big problem here. Wow, you are depressed. Let's just do this. I'm gonna be watching these videos on my desktop monitor, which is about five feet over there. Because... Do I have to say it again? Here we go. And someone deleted one of the tweets I liked. Why? Why do you guys do this? Why do you guys end up deleting the tweets as soon as I like them? Like if you guys get freaked out or something. Let me give you credit. Let me give you love. Hey, wait, I found another one. Okay, we're good. Can you be gay and a Christian? Oh boy. What does the Bible, God's word, have to say? Apparently I have to say a lot of things, mm -hmm. even though y'all just repeat one goddamn sentence, but like, my life isn't that important compared to a book with words in it. I know, I understand, thank you. Every Christian struggles in some area, whether it be pride or anger or lust or jealousy, we also recognize that these desires and attitudes are, are sinful. Saying no to them and yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord. Goodbye, pride. I'm gonna be depressed forever because Jesus said so. What about those who say, God made me good? Did he just giggle when he said that? Ooh. You want to fight? Oh, he has opinions? He designed us for heterosexuality. And it doesn't take the Bible or rocket scientists to figure that out. Did he just call me stupid? <laughs> Take rocket science and figure that out with your gay ass. Quit being gay, you idiot. God designed us to be heterosexual. Stop being stupid. Get that dick out of your mouth. What are you doing? God didn't want Adam, the first man, to be alone. So he decided to make him a suitable helper. Did he just pull out his call women helpers to the men? Ooh, 2018 must be doing you dirty, bitch. 2018 must be making you mad. Get your big ass mustache. He kind of looks like the clock from Beauty and the Beast. He took her out of Adam's rib. She would be called woman because she was taken out of man.
You want to hold that up on Twitter, B? <laughs> I wonder what woman I birthed out of my rib cage. Loki hope it was Beyonce, but that wouldn't make any physical sense. I'll take Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy's mine. That was gross. That was pedophilic. Take that back. Delete that sentence. To become one. That's because they once were one. That's why man plus man or woman plus woman can never equal man plus woman. Bet. <laughs> Ooh, have you been listening to science, bitch? You can have a baby and a man doesn't even have to be there anymore. In response, some gay theologians Did you just say gay theologians? Did I hear that right? Did I just find my new profession? If YouTube doesn't work out. God designed us for heterosexuality that there's so few references to homosexuality. Here we go. You know, I read the Bible twice, so I know exactly what they wanted us to understand. This is me trying to justify my hatred, bitch. Every single reference to it is decidedly negative. What did the gays do to you? What did we do to you? Did we hurt your feelings? By existing? What is happening? Move on to Leviticus. Here it is. It doesn't get any less detestable if you do it over and over with the same person. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I hate myself. I'm going to hell. In Matthew 15, Jesus taught that all sexual acts, Paul says that those who willingly give themselves to homosexuality would not inherit the kingdom of God. Willingly gave myself to homosexuality? It can hold me? Did I sell myself to it? How much was I worth? How much did it cost? One lesbian scholar, Bernadette Bruton, says- He just had to make sure y'all know she was a lesbian, right? Did you hear how he slipped that in? He was like, here's one lesbian's opinion, so y'all wrong. Bernadette Bruton said it. So y'all must believe that, right? Yeah. He understood the struggles of someone with same-sex attraction. The struggles, bitch. It's a struggle, honey. Ooh, me struggling. With all this dick in my mouth. I need to stop talking about that. He offered them transformation. Wow. Never mind, I was gonna make a transgender joke, but that would have condemned me for life. Rather than finding your identity in your romantic attractions and sexual desires, find your identity in Jesus. So, what this man just basically just said, whenever I'm just, you know, casually having a Saturday night trade, getting some skin-on-skin -skin contact with some male species. To just remember that Jesus died for this not to happen. I need to find myself in Jesus. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel like for some goddamn reason, this video was purposely made for me. That they purposely saw my shit and made a reply to it and purposely asked YouTube to play before my video because they wanted to talk. They wanted to have a conversation. They were trying to fight. They wanted to fight with me. They're, they want to throw a hand. Look at them trying to get that clout. That anti-gay clout. Look at you. Oh, and they want some money. Bitch. Where? Y'all giving us money to ask for money? Wow. We love ads. Through your generosity that we're able to produce this thought-provoking series and reach the world. And it's with your generosity is why I can pay my rent this month. Thank you. Wow. Do I even want to watch the second one anymore? I'm kind of tired. So that video has been playing before my video for a, a, a while now, apparently. For like a week and a half. I don't even know. Two weeks, three weeks a month. But Jesus only knows, apparently. We gotta find ourselves through him. In him, actually. In him we love rape. Bitch. Bitch, bitch. Bitch, bitch. Should the government force people to create art that violates their beliefs? Let's take it like this. Imagine I create a belief where I believe heterosexuals are a sin and that I shouldn't serve them because they're a sin. Imagine every gay in this world decided that out of nowhere if we had to follow people's beliefs. Y'all know the amount of shit y'all wouldn't be able to get? Y'all understand the amount of gays there are in this world? Correction. Y'all understand the amount of gays there are that'd be running shit in this world? Bitch. What qualifies as a belief? Just believing it? Well then I'm gonna believe in some other shit too. If we're gonna follow our beliefs, we can fight about it in the comments. I don't know. I've never discriminated against anyone in my life. Oh, we're best friends. I made flowers for him all the time, but then he wanted to get married with his dumb ass, and I was like, nope, bitch, bye. I'ma take Jesus. Let's throw this back to 50, 80 years ago, when people didn't want to allow black people into their businesses, oh, when people didn't want to serve African American, people didn't want to serve interracial marriages back in the day, because it was against their religion. Now that's not a problem anymore because you know 
We progress. Now here we are. <laughs> something else. History repeating itself. Do you see this? I'm sorry this woman is getting sued. I don't want to say anything bad about her. She looks like a sweet lady that will treat me kindly and make me a good ass apple pie. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully one day she opens her eyes and realizes the hypocrisy in what she just said. Because everyone believes in different things. Everyone has different kinds of religion. And if we all in this country made decisions, decided not to do things based on our beliefs, there will be a lot more problems here than we're talking about. Okay? You want to make floral arrangements for same-sex couples because it's against your religion? Then don't make floral arrangements for people that are eating seafood at their wedding. Don't make floral arrangements for people that wear mixed fabrics at their wedding. If you're going to go with your beliefs, then go with your beliefs 100%. Don't half-ass it. Don't pick one aspect and be like, that's it. You're literally wearing mixed fabrics right now. Flip. But yeah, that's it. Both of these ads are very boring. I don't know why y'all running money to play these on people's videos, but you know what? Thank you for the penny. Thank you for the dollar bill. What is this? This bitch. Where did this come from? What's going on? But maybe, maybe this is just me spitballing. Y'all know YouTube's a business, so they can't say that much about this right now, right? Maybe they wanted to take their money away. Maybe they didn't want to say no to their money, but they didn't agree with their messages they were saying about their ads. And to play the ball a little bit, they decided that they're going to play their ads with LGBT YouTubers because they know that their audiences won't believe this bullshit. So YouTube can take their money, but not successfully spread their message. Because if YouTube's doing that, then I applaud their bitch ass because you know what get that money get that clout get that promo whatever you need to do to get that coin live your life just tell a bitch just email a bitch just contact me call me y'all got my number anyway moral of the story i might be depressed my name is mac and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe babe Blah! <laughs>